there my beautiful leos and welcome this is your leo plus pisces love reading for may 2024 we are looking into feelings for each other future actions for the month ending oracle and advice for any of my leos who are connected to interested in and or curious about a pisces now, before I get started into it, keep in mind that for some of you Leos and Pisces cross watchers, the reading may resonate backwards, reverse, flipped. Assign the roles as you wish. Take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. So let's get started into it. Leo, in your feelings, we have the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces feelings for you are the Ten of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so I definitely feel like Pisces has feelings for you, whether they outwardly show them or not. In their feelings, they have the Ten of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Ace of Cups. So I definitely feel like Pisces wants to have a new, fresh start with you, whether this is a new Pisces or not. Bear with me as I read for single, separated, and in partnership. I definitely feel like this Pisces is gaining more feelings for you or definitely feeling more emotions towards you than either they were in the past or they were recently. But with the Hanged Man here, that is Pisces card. So let's see, why do they have the Hanged Man? Justice. All right, so I feel like for some of you, there could have been a separation between you and Pisces. And I feel like Pisces is still kind of stuck on you here. I feel like they still have feelings for you. I feel like they still want to see where this connection could go. But with justice being the clarification of the hanged man, I almost get that Pisces may feel like they want more of those offers from you, per se. It's like they want to show more love and they want to express more. But it's like with justice to the hanged man there, it's like they're waiting for some sort of specific type of balance to be restored in this connection for them to feel like possibly you'll reciprocate their feelings or whatever. But they have feelings, but they look like they're a bit iffy in expressing them. But we'll get the actions after and see. Leo, you have the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. So you definitely are very attracted towards this person. You definitely feel like it is a passionate match. But on the stability level and the emotional level, I feel like you're more focused on yourself in that aspect. I definitely feel like you're interested in this Pisces. I definitely feel like the chemistry is off the charts between the two of you and or was. Um, but you do look focused on yourself. Although I do see that you're focused on this Pisces as well. I feel like it's not necessarily emotional or stable focus. It's more of like you two are very passionate about each other and or at least that's where you're keeping it for now. But let's see what we have the future actions as. Leo, you have the Three of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Some of you may definitely get what you want out of a Pisces this month. Some of you may want reconciliation. Some of you want to date this person. Some of you definitely want to see where this connection can go. Have fun with this person. It looks very much like you're receiving wish fulfillment. Pisces has the Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. Yeah. So I feel like Pisces is going to come in with some sort of new communication and or you could be connecting to a totally new Pisces for sure. I feel like Pisces is kind of pessimistic about love for some reason. Let's see, they have the Five of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Five of Wands to the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like Pisces wants love, but I feel like they don't know how to handle love per se. They could be slightly argumentative sometimes. You have the Chariot to the Page of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Yeah. So you're super passionate about this person. You do want to move this connection forward. You do want to get somewhere with this person for sure. Very much on a passionate level. So Leo, your position may just be in a way of getting to know each other and or just being passionate opposed to emotional and stable. I feel like Pisces wants more of that. Um, They may put up a little bit of a fight towards you to get that. 
They may present you with the what are we or where is this going? They could even may even ask you if you're seeing other people per se. But I feel like Pisces, they want to have new fresh energy with you. And I feel like they want new fresh energy towards some sort of commitment and emotion. And I feel like all you're giving them is passion and a little bit of emotion when they want more of it. And, you know, sometimes when energies are unevolved, they do start an argument to see the other person if they care about them. I do feel like for some of you, a Pisces could start an argument only because they just want they just want more of your interest and they don't know how to get it. So it's like they're just going to possibly cause some drama to see how you handle it. Um, honestly, <laughs> um, I'm a Pisces son. And when I was unevolved in romantic life, like as a teen, I did do that. I did argue with people just if they weren't giving me enough attention or if I didn't feel loved by them, I'll argue with them and make them <laughs> show me that they love me or fight for me. Um, so some of you could be connecting to an unevolved Pisces and they definitely could do that this month. So let's see, you have return. Some of you, a Pisces is returning in or you're the energy returning in. They have mute. You have surrender, they have pause, you have forgiveness, they have balancing the scales, you have muse, they have divine feminine. Yeah, I mean, Pisces does have justice and now they also do have balancing the scales. So I feel like Pisces really wants to have balance with you and or possibly even they want some sort of apology from your energy as well. But it looks like there is going to be some sort of either return or renewal or movement to this connection. But I feel like Pisces, I mean, they do have mute and pause. So if Pisces doesn't feel like they're getting what they want this month from you, I definitely do feel like they will shake things up purposely to get more of what they want. For some reason, I feel that way. So, you know, what I feel specifically for some of you... Pisces may just want to be around you more. They want to hang out with you more. I get that for sure, especially with the Five of Wands being at the Six of Pentacles. Possibly Pisces may feel like you spend too much time working. It's like they want more of your energy here. So let's see what the advice is between Leo and Pisces. This is the advice card. And it says freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Right. So I feel like this connection could work out. It, you know, if both parties, right, it takes two to tango. If both parties, you know, are more expressive and open and what they want. I feel like Pisces possibly is going to do it this month, but I don't necessarily feel like their approach is going to be received that great from you. So it could be nothing is stopping you from leveling up this connection or just leaving the connection behind. If it just doesn't, if it fuels only one part of you, but not the other part of you, it's probably just more lust than love type of energy. So this is what I have here for you, Leo plus Pisces. I also do have a whole Pisces channel if you wish to cross watch any Pisces readings. And you can find that link to this channel. I believe I have it linked. Um, so that's what I have here for y'all. Thank you for being here and for watching. If you are looking for a different sign, we are starting with Pisces this month. So they are the first sign that goes out. So if you're waiting for any of the signs that come before Pisces, just ring the bell and subscribe and you will get an alert of when it goes out for May. So thank you once again, Leo, and I'll talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Bye now.